Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. London. This is Coven Cassius for Eiffel from London. We're at York Hall for the Box Academy show. With me, I've got Tony Conquest, the new WBO International Cruiserweight Champion. How does it feel to have that belt around your waist? Uh, it feels terrific, absolutely terrific. You know, great opponent. The toughest man I think I've ever boxed in my life. You know, so I just feel on top of the world at the moment, absolutely on top of the world. It's the, the, best, the best win I've ever had. You know, just, just chuffed I am at the minute. Absolutely chuffed. I can't thank Jason enough. Great management team with Richard Clark. Steve as well, you know, we've just got a great team around us. It's just, just everything's just panning out perfect now. Really happy. And got the governor here and all, you know. The governor, of course, a bit strong, but yeah, I suppose we could. Everything goes strong, not in there, Jim. <laughs> um, everything go, go to plan tonight? Yeah, 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 it did. He, he got a little bit sloppy in occasions. He knows that every time every time he did it, you know, he, he come back to the corner and he, he knew, you know. Um, yeah, I'd like him to tighten up a little bit more. Um, strong opponent. We knew he'd be strong. We knew we really did. We we trained for a sort of a ten, twelve round fight. Um, yeah, he's just he's just he's punching harder now, Coogs. He's punching harder, and uh, I keep telling him he, he's just got to get his confidence, and he's getting it now. Like that's two on a spin now. No one thought Tony going to conquest uh, punch. So he's getting there, mate. Was you expecting him to come out for that that last round, or I mean, the corner retired him? But was you ready for him if he was yeah, coming? I was, out? I was expecting. The hardest fight in my career. I know he's a tough man. I've seen him. I, I followed him in the amateurs. I read about him in the boxing news. You know, he was always in the Four Nations at 91 kilos. I knew he boxed Tony Bellew, uh, Steve Simmons. So he's mixed in real good company. He's a tough, tough man. You know, I knew I was going to have my hands full all night. I weren't going to get a rest. So, R Richard, I'll bring you in. Um, how do you assess Tony's performance tonight? Obviously, get this belt wrapped around his waist. Well, he he's moved onwards and upwards from his last win. We, we you know we were chuffed to bits with that. You know, boxing news were, were alluding to the fact that that one round demolition of Williams might have flattered Tony. You know, flattered to deceive. I think he proved from the off tonight that that wasn't the case. Jason is a bit of a student, you know, and he sat down and he's not just worked out that Tony wasn't punching as hard as he could, but he worked out why he wasn't punching as hard as he could, and he set about putting that right. And I think that that win against Williams didn't flatter to deceive. And I think that what you saw in the first couple of rounds when Tony set about him was the, was the product of some real hard work and some studying that went on behind <coughs> the scenes. Tony Conquest would be ideally suited to 15 round fights and you might think that's a strange prediction given that we haven't seen them for years. This man is the fittest fighter that I think I've seen in a long time. This man's had a cold for a week and I can tell you now that he knew that that young man Tims was gonna come out for the next round like a wounded animal but I think he'd have matched him shot for shot and gone on to do what, well, the corner did the job for him. But I assess that as, a, as a, an almost perfect performance from pretty much the perfect team. And I'm thrilled to bits for him. It couldn't happen to a nicer guy and a better young trainer, actually. And onwards and upwards now, I think I put us in, I wouldn't say we're the best in the country. I'd put us in the top one or two, though. And uh, I look forward to proving it. Uh, Jason, you said about uh, obviously the camp went well. Um, you settled into uh, the fight farm in Essex, and uh, how's training been going there with you and your boys and Tony? Obviously, it's been doing very well. We've got um, Mole Shinkwin's just turned pro with me. Um, fantastic ability that boy's got the hand speed and that. And um, tell you, we've just been moving about with him. I thought he'd be enough to tell the truth because of his sharpness, you know. And uh, they're just bringing each other on bit by bit, you know. When he gets a better day. Miles would be better the next day when he gets. They're just, they're just, and that's going to happen for for a little while, you know. But yeah, it's great down the fight farm. Bill's down there and he's looking after everyone. So yeah, onwards and upwards down there, you know. You feel settled there? Obviously, there's a great caliber of boys there, yeah, all different sure. levels, and I think you're sitting there at the top of the tree, aren't you? Well, yeah, I like to think so. Yeah, yeah, it's terrific. But it's good camaraderie in the gym. You know, you got little Mitchell Schmidt, like Jason said, and Miles. We all just bounce off each other. It's, it's a pleasure to train there, pleasure to train with Jason and the other lads. You know, I just enjoy what I do. It's a fantastic. pleasure to work with Jason, did you say? Oh, it is, yeah, yeah. He ain't as bad as what you think, you know. <laughs> 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 he paid me to say that. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, but no, it's going fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Really enjoying myself, really. Have you got one eye on uh, McPhilburn and Dickinson coming up? Definitely, yeah. I'd love to be in a mix with those lads. Yeah, definitely. You know, they're quality fighters. Yeah, I'd love to. Love to be in a mix. That's what I've always dreamed of is a, a long as our belt. Outright, you know, that's my dream in boxing, you know. We'll have, I think we'll have one or two defences. Um, and hopefully, yeah, and hopefully, you see what happens with uh, McPhilbin and that. But um, I think we'll have one or two defences of this. We'll get a bit of a European experience. I think we'll do them world of good. I've always said a, a title like that's to do us for a little while. But um, obviously, he should be British champion by now. But 
he ain't. So um, I'd like I'd like two defences. If we can get one before Christmas and one January February, that'd be nice. And uh, just need a little bit more experience. Just learning the game, learning the game. That's what he's got to do. Mm. Sorry, would you say something, Richard? Yeah, experience and money. Money's always nice. It pays the bills, doesn't it? But um, he's put himself in the mix now, as you, you just mentioned, McPhilbin and and the other fella for the British Championship. You know, we we feel we're the champion in waiting. And uh, I think he's he's nicking some good experience. You know, he's boxing some good kids. And uh, can I just can I can I just say, uh, Jason? Just but I didn't realise he was stood behind me. Can I just say I, I've mentioned Jason and the team down there. Can I make a mention of uh, Tony's governor, who, who yet again really has given Tony an absolute mile of timer? Well, well please crack on. Yeah. Well, come on. Come over, come over, Mr. Hines. Yeah. No, we'd just like to say a massive thank you to this chap, really, because to be fair, Tony, yeah, he is part of the team, and it is, it is fair to say that for Tony's first six or seven fights, you know, he was an housewife, he was digging holes in the road, he was a professional trainer, and you may well laugh, but trust me, this man, this man is a three job a day man, and he was cramming, you know, good professional work into that, and it's a massive thank you to you for all that you've no done, problem. and um, you know, because. No I think he's reaped worth the benefits every, of that. Worth every bit Trivic, of thank, you. thank you. Worth every bit of this is Nobby Clark and Tony Conquest for <laughs> Conquest I Film London. Coogan, <laughs> I'll have your job next. <laughs> I don't Better really know what to say to that, Tony. Except, maybe. Jason is just standing there. Right, listen, congratulations, a great win. Onwards and upwards for uh, Team Conquest anyway. And listen, well good luck. Done, well done. Well done. Well done. Nice one. Coogan Cassius, Tony Conquest, Team Conquest, I film London here at your call. Thank you very much.